Hello and welcome back to another Gubba vlog. I'm Gubba out on the Gubba homestead. So welcome. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications before we get started so you don't miss out on any adventures. I'm a first time homesteader following in the footsteps of my homesteading forebearers. My great grandparents homesteaded. I'm a few generations past, but I'm going back to my roots to learn everything about them and what they went through to the best of my ability. So today I wanted to show you how I heat my homestead. I am currently in an old farmhouse. As you can see, we're in an older basement. Um, the floor is concrete, so that's kind of new. Um, it's echoey in here because there's literally nothing down here. There's no ceiling. It's just exposed pipes and wires. And I am down here with my heat source, which is my wood stove. And there's also a furnace right here that um, I've talked a little bit about this situation in my other vlogs, like the wood prep vlog. Um, heating the homestead is a little bit funky because, um, well, the furnace basically just serves the purpose to distribute the heat from the wood stove. I've never used a wood stove before up until about a month ago when I moved into my new house. I had a fireplace growing up when I was younger. This is a little bit different. And like I said, I'm in the basement and this is my main heat source along with the, um, so the wood from the wood pile, bring it in here. And then this heats the entire house. And so far it's done pretty well. I've been able to keep my house at like mm, 65 to 69 degrees which is pretty good, I would say, coming from me when I lived in my non-farmhouse, little city house right before this house, I kept my house at like 70, 71, so I'm adjusting. But now that I'm outside all the time and I come in and 65 to 69 feels really warm. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit about the heating and kind of how weird it is. Um, so this was built in a few years ago. I don't know what they had before, actually. I think they might have had another sort of fireplace and they just put this one in. And then this furnace is new. This is like, this is new within like the past few years. And the furnace, like I said, is basically just used to distribute the heat to upstairs. So I have the fans, these uh, heat inductive, fans. I'll post a link down below. These heat controlled fans that pop up when the fire gets hot and the wood stove is hot and then they're angled over towards my furnace and then the heat blows into the furnace and then the furnace, the heat goes into the furnace and then flies around the furnace pipes and then pops up upstairs and heats it. So that's the idea of the furnace but the thing about the furnace is it's not like piped to all the rooms upstairs so all the rooms don't get heat it basically just heats the main area and the floor literally since i've moved in my feet have been super sweaty and i was like why the heck are my feet super sweaty my feet don't get sweaty but it's because the heat is coming up the floor and then it makes it real hot at least the floor is like kind of heated so if anything this is like heating the floors so that's kind of cool but let me show you guys what this is all about. Here's the wood stove. These fans that are heat induced fans. So it's super hot right here. It's blowing the heat, blowing, 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 comes up here. And then usually I have this fan on and then this is supposed to go in and then distribute the heat through every here, all the way through here. Uh, so that's the idea. So I should have this on, but it was just running for so long that I'm like, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a break. I mean, it's been running for like a few weeks constantly, and so I unplugged it. And as you can see, this should be piped from the furnace. Like there should be a big silver pipe coming over. This goes to one of the rooms. So I guess the heat just like goes up and goes into there but it doesn't come from the furnace, so I just hope that, you know, the heat rises and goes in there. But you know what else comes up through here? You know, probably bugs and spiders just crawl right into the bedroom. Oh my gosh, yeah, there you can see the opening into the bedroom. Here's my wood stove essentials, my supply list, 
We got the fire extinguisher, which is a must. I have another one by the stairs in case there's a huge fire right here and I can't get to this one. And then the previous owners left this and you put this on top of the wood stove with water in it and then it becomes like humidifier because then the water evaporates. This is my ash bucket. So this is where when the fire goes out, I pile in the ashes. I actually cleaned this out today and then put more ashes in here. There's my ash shovel. So here's the air that blows. It goes up into the fan that's usually on. You come around here and then come down here into this plug-in. But where does it plug in, you say? Because there's no plug-in. You actually have to come over here. Here's the extension cord. You bring it over here and you plug it in. Ta-da! And then it kind of just dangles. Now we have the fully functional wood stove heating system. We got the hot stove with the wood burning, the fans from the heat blowing that hot air. The hot air's flying, 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 goes in there, and then it heats the house. So we're over here with the cord to the fan on the furnace and I said there's no plug-in and you might have been watching and seen this right here and be like, but Gubba, there is a plug-in. And I would say, yes, there is a plug-in, but this doesn't work. Whenever you plug anything into this, the circuit or the fuse blows. So I can't plug anything into that. It has to go by the extension cord up to the ceiling. Um, I guess whoever installed this just never came back to fix this. The fire is going. I have this down here that I can pull out if I want to give it a lot of oxygen. Usually I do that when I'm starting the fire or low if I'm just going through the night. I always clean this too. This is just from today when I was bringing in wood and clean up everything around it. I got my shop back, so anyways. Heat in the house. I would say the most important item bes besides the fire extinguisher are these heat induction or heat powered fans because they're not battery operated. They don't have to be plugged in. They literally just get heat from the top of the stove and then they blow the air around the room. Love them. I'm gonna show you guys all the items that I have surrounding my wood stove. Some of them were left by the previous owners and yeah, pretty much all of them were left by the previous owners, except my lighter. So I just have a lighter that's super easy to use that I obviously use to start the fires. And then I have fire starter paper. It's basically just cardboard paper, but I don't keep it near here because I am super paranoid of like accidental fires. So I try to keep things away from the wood stove. Uh, I do store the wood along this wall. Um, but it's kind of far for it to jump. I just don't keep anything that's super flammable right by the wood stove. And then I have these like fire or heat gloves. Obviously they're not like fire repellent gloves, but have to wear these every time I do anything with it because I don't know if you guys can see, but I burned myself pretty good probably a few weeks ago. And I realized I need to use long sleeves when I'm using the wood stove because I was tired and groggy and got up in the middle of the night, came downstairs, burned the crap out of my arm right here. Um, yeah, it literally just melts your skin. And then the previous owners left this. <laughs> There's still water in it. It's uh, a little teapot. And uh, you put water in it and then you put it on top of the wood stove and then it makes it humid. So like a, like a nice little humidifier. And then of course the fire extinguisher and then I have a super huge one over by the stairs in case there's ever an emergency and I really hope that there never is but yeah ha having a wood burning stove is like kind of keeps my paranoia up because I'm like oh my gosh like fire in the house fire in the house keeps me super like me just being me like paranoid but um yeah 
So I try to do my best to be safe and I have a fire alarm down here. Um, and ways that I can watch the fire when I'm not home and just doing my best to try and stay safe and to also stay warm. So as I was filming this and showing you guys everything, my fire is getting a little low and I can't have that because then, oh my goodness, it takes forever for me to start a fire because, well, I don't have my kindling wood down here for whatever reason. So then I have to go all the way outside and go get the kindling wood and then the like fire starter paper that I have and Sometimes it just takes forever, so I try not to let the fire go out. So I'm just gonna put a log on the fire while y'all are here. Gotta use the safety glove. This was actually left behind. I have some because I have a, uh, gosh, a cast iron Dutch oven. And so I got gloves for that to operate it on the fire so I don't get hurt, just like camping fire. Usually I wear one on my left hand. I've burned myself pretty good on this actually. So as you can see, the fire doesn't look like it's going. It's not really going. It's just a smoking wall. So I'll take this fire poker and push it to the back. Whoa, this was smoky. Push all the coals to the back and I'm gonna put two logs on. So this is my super exciting homestead heating system that I am just gonna go through the winter with, knock on wood. Um, but it worked for the people before and they said they never really use their furnace ever. They just use the wood stove and just really heat the house well. So I'm really hoping and banking on that as well. Um, but yeah, I got the fire going. Uh, I usually use, let's see, maybe like six to eight logs a day. I'll probably put on like another half log here in like mm, two hours. Have it burning on low. It's not, it's, it is cold outside, but it's not cold in my house. It's probably like 66, 67 in here, I would say. Um, but yeah, make sure to comment and tell me what you think of my heating system. I have lots of blogs that talk about it on my website, gubbatv.com, and everything that's going on in the homestead also goes on to gubbatv.com, so you can just check out if you enjoy reading over there, or subscribe and turn on notifications for more vlogs to come. Um, but yeah, this has been quite the heating system that I have had to figure out and um hoping i'm able to stay warm during the winter months because it's gonna get cold cold um yeah so say your condolences for me and thank you so much for watching and don't do anything a gumbo and do goop, goop.